Rock City Network's coming to you from out the back of uh, the Corner Hotel. We've had to find a shady spot. It's uh, it's PBS Live Music Week launch. Joining me, the gorgeous Kylie Aldis. How are you? Gorgeous. I'm fantastic. Thanks, Ben. Yourself? I'm good, mate. Uh, you've just got off the stage, and uh, and and you're not looking too sweaty at all. You composed <laughs> yeah. yourself. It's dripping down my back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, how how good is the start of PBS Live Music Week? We've got fantastic. so many great artists coming down, and 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 you've up there, and you you got the crowd moving. <laughs> Everyone's everyone's da everyone's dancing inside now because of you. How'd you feel about that? Uh, well, I, I didn't think they were going to dance for a little while there, so I was very excited. Especially one little girl was this big, and she came up and danced, and I thought that was a, a you know it's a lovely family day, and it made everybody just feel like it, you know being part of it. Yeah, so I yeah. was wrapped. Now your new album, Made of Stone, is out. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, it's my second album mm -hmm. uh, with True Thoughts, and. Um, it's got all the tracks written by Lance and myself, mm -hmm. so there's no covers, there's no other people's music, and it's uh, it's, it's different. It's a little bit more, uh, I guess, adult. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. It's you know everything's uh, cleaner and brighter and newer, and it's just uh, a lot of different styles of music on it. It's not just sort of funk and soul, which it, it has that sort of underlie, you know. But yeah, yeah I really like it. I'm, I'm into it actually. Because you, know, you don't really like to listen to yourself sing and stuff, but I actually quite like this album. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to listen to myself sing. That's a good promo for the album. <laughs> <laughs> but I can listen to this one. Yeah. It's oh, well, there you go. The yeah. second one's better. You can listen to that one. Go oh, on I love them both. They're like my babies, yeah. really. You know, you can't say that you like one or the other more. Because that'd be mean. Did you always feel like that? Well, for me, it's kind of like, it's embarrassing to put down words that people will, you know, interpret and see. And so you sort of, you try and get more and more obtuse because you don't want people knowing what's going on inside your head. But basically, I love to sing. That's what I, I want to do. But I don't want to tell everybody all my business, mm -hmm. you know. So I guess every bit, every song that you write, every piece that you put down, like Lance and I do it together. And we sort of like, it's a story, but it's also just, you know, a little piece of your life that's kind of becomes a personal thing that is yours, yeah. you know. So you don't want... Yeah, so you can't diss it or yeah. you know, or throw it away or in any way because it was a part of you and a part of your life. Definitely. Mm. Now your your last trip overseas was Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went with Cooking on Three Burners. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, you, do you find the European crowds? Uh, I don't know. Your music might be totally different to them, but when I see like rock shows or or uh, alternative music over there, any anything really apart from like that soul blues sort of vibe you've got. They don't really move around in the crowd too much, but at the end of the sets, they, they're as loud as you, any yeah. other crowd around. Did you well, the Swiss that? were fantastic. They were like just getting into it and dancing and going like this to us on the stage and stuff. And that, that gig was hilarious because the um, keyboard player's <laughs> keyboard actually fell off the stage and then he fell off his chair. Because <laughs> 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 the joint was just bouncing so much. And though, But we went to Germany and the, the dudes were like standing there going... Yeah. And at the end of the gig, they'd buy CDs and be rapped about it, you know, mm. but they just, that was so lovely to us, but they just didn't show it, they didn't dance, they didn't do any, they didn't move. It was just very concentrating, you know, they were concentrating on the music. It just <laughs> freaked me out because they're always really loud, even though they don't move, there's yeah. just always that noise there. They do clap, they're, they applaud, they're yeah. very kind like that. They're right into music, you know, like here, I think we're a bit spoiled, especially in Melbourne, we're so spoiled, we can go see a good band every night of the week. Yeah. But over there, it's like, I don't know, they seem to treat musicians with more respect, it's like an art, they know that it's an art, it's not just you're just bludging, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know like if you can't get a job, just go and get a guitar. So, um, you know, I think, yeah, it's kind of an older culture, they really understand art more in that way. Excellent, mm. excellent. Now, uh, we've got, obviously, we're at the start of the Christmas period, it's silly season, what have you got coming up towards the end of this month and into the new year? We've got the 18th of December at the ESPY, mm -hmm. the Bamboos are doing that together, um, it's not myself, the Bamboos. Um, we're doing, I'm singing with uh, Mike Guerrieri, as he's a DJ, we're going to do Summer Days, uh, just the two of us, I'm singing and he's playing the decks. Excellent. And then um, we're doing uh, Days Like This in Sydney on the 10th of January with the Bamboos. So you've got busy, busy schedule Yeah, I've got in. a bit of stuff going on. Excellent. You know, yeah, but I always seem to be in, in at PBS, for God's sake. Well, that's all right. There's not <laughs> so a, nice to me. It's, it's great. Uh, you know, uh, they're streaming live today as well, so not only are yeah. people on the stage seeing what you, uh, <laughs> listening to what you're doing. The people at home are finding out that I don't know the verse of the, fir the first <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well on that though, look, I'll let you go because you did just get off stage, so you need to go take a breather and maybe have another beer. I might come have, have one with you as Fantastic. well. Fantastic, and we'll have a little dance to Diafric. I think so, I think so. Now, if you want any inf more information on Kylie, you can go to kyliealdis.com or you can go to allthews.myspace forward slash kyliealdis. Uh, all the information is up there. Can, can, can you buy the albums off uh, the website? Yes, well? you can. You can buy it uh, from my website. And if you can't find me, just go to thebamboos.com because then there's, there's links everywhere. Perfect. Mm. All right, Kylie, thank you very thank much you, for joining us on Rock City Networks. It's all part of the launch for PBS Live Music Week. There's more to come. Stick around.